Previously on the Celebrity World Championship. You're the last hope humanity has, Obama. Right. That's what I was worried about. In today's match, we have the hip-hop legend Snoop Dogg facing off against the 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama. You plan on making a move this century, man? I've seen stoners think faster than this I'm thinking, Snoop. No, you're overthinking. So quit spacing out like you're the one toked up and enjoy yourself, man. Ain't that what Yu-Gi-Oh is all about? You're right. I guess I guess I let the pressure and expectations get into my head. Gonna... Now step back and watch as I tune my Sohaya with my Chidori in order to synchro summon the beast of this feast. Blackwing on Imaru, the divine thunder. Circle. So what you said before about mirror force was a- It was a bluff. You should try them sometime, Snoop, instead of a puff. Snoop put on quite the performance and came close to snatching victory, but it seems the rapper couldn't put a rap on this duel as Obama will be the one advancing onto the semifinals. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Day 15 of the Celebrity World Championship. I'm your host, Tom Lively, and alongside me is my always enthusiastic co-host, J.B. Smoove. That dinner we had last night was amazing, by the way. It's the least I could do for all the shit I put you through these last few weeks, man. After that whole donut fiasco, I figured I owed you more than just a high five and a box of chocolates, you feel me? I'm touched, truly, my friend. I always got your back, Tom. I hope you know I'd do anything for you. Thanks, JB. I'm really grateful for your friendship. I mean anything. Uh, yeah, I heard you the first time. Just say the word, and I'm ready to drop kick the shit out of any one of these mother- Oh, okay, I got it. I don't think any of that will be necessary, but I, uh, appreciate the sentiment. Always. Now get back to hosting, you handsome son of a bitch. Uh, right. Okay, so, uh, we were just about to discuss the long-awaited beginning of the semifinals, weren't we? Damn straight we were. It's been over a year since this crazy tournament began, and we've seen a lot of insane duels, haven't we? What are you talking about, JB? It's only been about two weeks since we started. Has it? That's strange. For some reason, it just feels like we've been at this thing for a long time. I sort of get what you mean. So much has happened recently that time seems to just fly by. But that's what makes this tournament so engaging, wouldn't you say? Hell yeah! Netflix and HBO better watch out, because we're taking over the broadcast. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now, JB. But I'm glad you brought up HBO, as I can't help but find today's match quite reminiscent of House of the Dragon. Same. Who could have imagined we'd get this dream matchup of Blue Eyes versus Galaxy Eyes? It's sure to be a true dance of the dragons. As for today's match, we have the former President of the United States, Donald Trump, taking on Chris Pratt, also known by his galactic persona, Star-Lord. Tell me, JB, who do you believe will emerge victorious in this clash of dragons? That's gonna be a tough one to call, Tom. I've seen both these tricky motherfuckers duel their way out of some crazy situations, so I wouldn't be surprised if either of them takes it. Indeed. Donald showed during his match with Hillary that even at the brink of defeat, he can still prevail. And Star-Lord showcased against Darth Vader that he's no stranger to overcoming even the most powerful of creatures. I may not be the biggest fan of the guy, but I believe Trump will take this one. I can just smell that determination oozing off his Humpty Dumpty ass body. Then I guess I'll favor Star-Lord to play devil's advocate. Regardless of who wins, however, this will surely be a duel to remember. Now then, are both contestants ready to begin? Ready. Let's do it. Then without further ado, it's time to duel. Duel! Yeah, I gotta hand it to you, Star-Lord, or whatever they call you. When I first saw the list of duelists entering my tournament, I never imagined you'd be one of the last ones standing. You've earned my sincerest praise. You think I care about a compliment from a guy who's the poster boy for orange skin and bad hair? I'm glad to see that being chased around by that bucket-wearing Sith Lord hasn't diminished your spirit. How do you think I've managed to survive this long? I've practically turned running away into an art form. Yeah, most guys wouldn't admit to nor be proud of that fact. Well, I'm not most guys now, are I? That's for sure. And that'll make crushing you and your knockoff Blue Eyes deck all the more satisfying. I think you mean upgrade, Donnie. The future is now, old man. 
and your outdated dinosaurs are staring at the new and improved version of what you used to know. The only thing that'll be improved is your list of excuses when I send your 1970s looking ass to the Shadow Realm. I'd like to see you try, Grandpa. Don't think that I'm the same as those two amateurs that you beat on your way here. In fact, why don't you start us off then, if you're feeling that confident? It is your tournament after all. As if I needed you to remind me of that. But I'll gladly dip my toes into the water if that's what you want. I'll start us off by summoning Maiden with eyes of blue in attack mode. Then I'll set these two cards face down and end my turn. I draw. Take your best shot, Quill. Surely you're not afraid of attacking my weak and defenseless Maiden, are you? That has to be the saddest attempt at a bait I've ever seen. Who'd fall for such an obvious trap? You've clearly never met the voters of South Dakota. But regardless, you won't be able to lay a finger on me as long as I have my maiden protecting me. And even if you do manage to get past her, I've got a nice surprise lying in wait for you. Just like Randy Orton at WrestleMania. I can tell just by looking at that dumb expression on your face that you actually believe you're safe behind your little princess and your face downs. Well, allow me to personally squash that faith as I summon Photon Crusher in attack position. And since I control a Photon Monster, I can also special summon Photon Vanisher. Now, thanks to Vanisher's special ability after being special summoned, I can add a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon to my hand. I'll now be overlaying my level four Photon Crusher with my level four Photon Vanisher in order to Xyz summon Star Leech Photon Blast Dragon. And since Photon Vanisher was used in its Xyz summon, my Blast Dragon can now banish any monster it destroys in battle. An impressive effect, but what good will it be on such a mediocre monster? Oh, you'll see just how mediocre he is when I activate his second ability allowing me to special summon the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon I just added to my hand. I was hoping you would, because I'm activating my trap, Bottomless Trap Hole. You aren't the only one who can banish Monster's Quill, as my trap will remove your Blue Eyes knockoff permanently from this duel. You better read again, Donnie, because as long as my Photon Blast Dragon is out on the field, none of my monsters can be targeted or destroyed by any of your card effects. Are, are you serious? Dead serious. But don't relax just yet, because I'm far from done with you. Battle! Attack his Maiden Blast Dragon! I activate my Maiden's special ability, allowing her to negate your attack and switch her position to defense mode. And that's not all, as I can now call forth a Blue-Eyes White Dragon from my deck. Didn't I tell you, Quill? Now you have no way of getting to my life points this turn with my Maiden in defense mode and both our dragons being equal in strength. You just love being wrong today, don't you? What? Attack his Maiden Photon Dragon. And while he's doing that, I think I'll boost my dragon's attack with the quick play spell, Photon Trident. Some master plan that was. You could give it a million extra attack points and it wouldn't matter, as my Maiden's in defense mode. Precisely. Because your Maiden is in defense position, Photon Trident's second ability activates, allowing my dragon to pierce through its defense straight to your life points. Shit. I've got some more bad news for you, Donnie. Since you just suffered damage from a monster boosted by the power of Photon Trident, I can destroy a spell or trap on the field. So I'll be ridding you of that last face down you have there. I think that'll be all for now. So I'll place this card face down and end my turn. What's the matter, Donnie? Not winning as easily as you expected to? All right, Quill. It seems that I've underestimated you. No shit, Sherlock. Just look at who I defeated to earn my place here. I took down an Egyptian god and defeated one of the biggest favorites to win this entire tournament. You better put some damn respect on my name. If it's respect you want, then I'll gladly give it. But victory is an entirely different story. And you'll have to keep that same energy if you want to bring me down. And come at me with everything you've got, and I'll respond in kind. Very well. Time, Time to, to drop, drop the, the kid, kid gloves and go all out on this space hippie. I activate cards of consonants. Now by discarding a Dragon Tuner monster from my hand, I can draw two cards. I hope you're ready, Quill, because I'm activating the spell Advanced Ritual Art. And with this card, I can now Ritual Summon a monster from my hand by using monsters from my deck as tributes. So I'll be sacrificing a Blue Eyes from my deck in order to Ritual Summon one of my favorites, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. It's about time he showed up. And it's about time you were vaporized from my sight. Battle! 
Your blast dragon may prevent your monsters from being targeted by card effects, but it doesn't say anything about protecting them from an ass beating. Before you do that, I'll be activating my trap, defense draw. While it won't stop my dragon from being destroyed, it'll reduce the damage from this battle to zero and let me draw a card. Whatever, it won't save your pitiful dragon. I guess you aren't aware of what my dragon's special ability can do. Oh, I'm fully aware, but it doesn't mean shit with Chaos Max Dragon's inability to be targeted by card effects. Damn you. Now my behemoth, wipe out his dollar store knockoff. That'll be it for me. And since it's the end phase, I can now activate the effect of the White Stone of Ancients in my grave, allowing me to special summon a Blue Eyes monster from my deck. But instead of my usual stud of a dragon, I'll be special summoning its distant cousin, Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. And boy, are you in trouble after you witness what it's capable of. First, because it was special summoned, I can grab a polymerization to my hand. And second, I can also grab a Blue Eyes to my hand during every end phase as long as Abyss Dragon is on the field. I draw. Not a bad turn, Donnie. I guess we can call the score 1-1 now, huh? It's been a while since I've been pushed to summon my boss monster, so I'll give credit where credit is due. Don't disappoint me now, Quill. When have I ever disappointed someone? You want me to bring out the receipts or you? So, uh, moving on. I think my hand's in need of a recharge, so I'll be activating the spell. Trade it. And as I'm sure you're aware, I can now discard a level eight monster in order to draw two cards. I'll now be activating Galaxy 100. And with this in play, I can now send any Galaxy or Photon card from my deck straight to the grave. So I'll be sending Photon Emperor. And since my Emperor was sent to the graveyard, its ability allows me to special summon it in defense position. Next, I'll be activating Galaxy Expedition. Now since I control a Galaxy monster on the field, I can special summon a level 5 or higher Galaxy monster from my deck. So appear before me, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. And since I just special summoned my Photon Dragon, Galaxy 100's second effect activates, allowing me to banish any monster from your extra deck. And there's one monster in there that I'll be glad to be rid of for the rest of this duel. I choose your Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. God damn it! I'll now activate the spell, Galaxy Trance. And by paying 2,000 life points, I can special summon not only the Photon Dragon in my graveyard, but also the last remaining one residing in my deck. I'll now overlay my Photon Emperor with my first Photon Dragon in order to exceed summon number 62, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Next, I'll be overlaying my second Photon Dragon with my third in order to exceed summon Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. Looks like we found ourselves in a good old-fashioned dragon standoff, haven't we? Sorry, Trump. But this is where the duel ends. Are you brain damaged? Even if you used your Prime Dragon's effect to boost its power and destroy my Max Dragon, you can't finish me off this turn. Perhaps that would be true. If I didn't have access to Cypher Blade Dragon's effect, now by discarding one overlay unit, I can take control of your blue eyes for one turn. How dare you? It doesn't feel so good to have your monster used against you, does it? Trust me, I know all too well how shitty of a feeling it is. But you won't have to worry about that much longer, because this duel ends right now. Now attack his Chaos Max Dragon! And thanks to Prime Photon Dragon's special ability, I can use one overlay unit in order to raise its attack points by the combined level of all Xyz monsters on my field times 200. What the hell? Why isn't your dragon toast? Since you seem to be clueless, let me educate you. Remember that face down card you destroyed on your last turn? Yeah. Well, unfortunately for you, the card you destroyed was Return of the Dragon Lord, and by banishing it before your attack hit, it allowed my Chaos Max Dragon to survive. So it looks like your plan to wipe me out this turn just went up in smoke like Biden's chances of winning the election. I should have expected something like that from you. But while you may have spared your life points, the same can't be said for your Abyss Dragon. And with that, I'll end my turn. I draw. That little maneuver may have saved my ass this turn, but if I don't think of a way to stop his prime dragon, I am history. There might be something in my deck that could help me take him down, but for now, I've got to focus on surviving. First, I'll be switching my blue eyes into defense mode. Now let's battle. 
Chaos Max Dragon. Attack his Cypher Dragon. I'll place these two cards face down and swing it back to you. My draw. What's, What's that, that peanut, peanat butter butter spray butter spray peanut butter spray tan up to? Even if he can't summon his twin burst dragon anymore, he should still be able to bring out another one of his fusions. I'm guessing he's trying to save his cards until he knows he can finish me off in one fell swoop. Well, fat chance, Humpty Dumpty, because you won't get that opportunity. I now activate Galactic Charity. Now, since I control an Xyz monster, I can discard a card from my hand in order to draw two cards. The drawback, however, is that for the remainder of this turn, any battle damage you would take is reduced by half its original amount. That's quite the steep drawback. Perhaps. But all that means is that I just have to deal enough damage that it won't make a difference. Attack is Max Dragon, Prime Photon Dragon. And just for good measure, I'll be activating the effect of Honest from my hand, allowing my dragon to absorb your monster's attack points and raise Prime Photon Dragon's attack to 8,000. But I'm not finished yet, as I won't be satisfied unless I overkill your ass. So I'll be using one overlay unit to raise Prime Photon Dragon's attack even more. This duel is over. Not so fast, Star Chump. I'm activating my trap, Spirit Force. And just like the defense draw you used, it can reduce the damage I take from this battle down to zero. You've always got something to pull out of your ass, don't you? How do you think I became president? Fair enough. I'll throw this card face down and end my turn. It was, it was a, a risky, risky move, move using Prime, Prime Dragon's, Dragon's last, last overlay, overlay material, material like that, that. but it'll, it'll be, be worth it if he attacks me next, next turn. turn. You seem awfully desperate to win this duel, Trump. Are you really doing all this just to have a rematch against Obama? You don't understand, Quill. You couldn't possibly grasp the depths of my humiliation at the hands of that bastard. I won't allow anyone to believe for a second that he's a superior duelist than me. I'm kind of sensing some racial undertones behind your words. That's complete nonsense. Do I honestly strike you as the kind of man that would base his judgments on a person's race? Yes. 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 Yes! I hate all of you. Regardless, I have no intentions of losing here before I settle my score with him. So watch out. I'm hesitant to play this card, but if it means drawing something that'll help me attain victory, then screw it. I activate Upstart Goblin. I can now draw another card at the cost of raising your life points by a thousand. Why, thank you, Donnie. That's quite sweet of you. Bite me. You won't be thanking me for very long when I activate the White Stone of Ancients in my graveyard. And by banishing it, I can return the blue eyes in my grave back to my hand. Brace yourself, Quill, because I'm activating polymerization in order to fuse the blue eyes on my field with the two in my hand to call forth a beast of pure destruction. Blue eyes ultimate dragon. I'll then activate the effect of my Abyss Dragon in my grave, allowing me to banish it in order to raise my ultimate dragon's attack by 1,000 points. You shouldn't have wasted your dragon's last material, Quill, because without it or your honest to fall back on, your dragon's nothing but a glorified punching bag. That's, That's what you think. think. Attack Prime Photon Dragon, my ultimate beast. Sorry, Trump. But that's exactly what I was hoping for. You see, I wanted you to get cocky and think I wasted all my resources when in fact, I've been saving the best for last. I activate my trap, Photon Current. And what this card does is allow my prime Photon Dragon to absorb your ultimate dragon's attack points. I hate to break it to you, Star-Lord, but that's exactly the kind of move I thought you'd pull. What? I activate the quick play spell, enemy controller. That's right, boy. I'm about to Nintendo 64 the shit out of you. You just sealed your own fate by playing that card. And what the hell's that supposed to mean? I'm already aware of how your card works. By entering the command code, it allows you to sacrifice one of your monsters to take control of mine. But even if you sacrifice your ultimate dragon to take my dragon, the power boost from Photon Current will be gone. So it'll only have its original 4,000 attack points. And since you used Upstart Goblin to gift me an extra 1,000 life points, you now don't have enough to finish me off. Is that what you really think? W what do you mean? Whoever said that taking control of your monster was the only command I could input. B but that means you're gonna use- Enemy controller activate. Up, left, down, right, A. And with this command, I can switch your Prime Dragon into defense mode. Damn it. Now vaporize his dragon. That was a brilliant move, Trump, but I'm far from dead yet. Actually, you're already dead. Huh? Because I'm revealing my last face down. Defusion! 
son of a bitch! Now I can split apart my ultimate dragon into the three original blue eyes it was composed of. And since it's still my battle phase, it's open season on your life points. Now wipe him out, my dragons! And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Donald Trump is our victor of today's match. What an incredible finish to an even more incredible duel. Wouldn't you say so, JB? Duels like that are what I live for, man. Both those dudes came out with their guns blazing, and it was a sight to behold. It certainly was. I'd say the match was rather even most of the way as they traded blows and tried to outmaneuver the other. That Photon Trident Playstar Lord used was fucking beautiful to watch, man. He had that orange donut fumbling with that one. And let's not forget Trump's clutch play of using his destroyed spell from the grave in order to save his Chaos Max Dragon. The duel would have been over right there and then if he hadn't done that. And speaking of clutch, I gotta hand Trump the Clutch Player of the Year award with that defusion move at the end. There's no way anyone saw a move like that coming. His use of enemy controller was also rather ingenious as well. Knowing that Star-Lord always relies on overpowering his enemies with raw power, he made it so that all that power would be meaningless if his monster was in defense mode. Truly brilliant. Now then, why don't we hear some words from our winner? You know, I'm not one to hand out compliments easily, but I have to say, Star-Lord definitely gave me a run for my money. I'll acknowledge his skill as he's certainly a duelist that deserves his spot. Did, did Trump just compliment someone? I'm astonished as well. That's quite the high praise from you, sir. Game recognizes game is all. And just to be clear, Star-Lord may be a good duelist, but I'm great. And the crown can only be worn by someone of my elite status. Don't ever forget that. And there it is. He'll never change. You can say that again. Now why don't we hear some words from Star-Lord, who is exiting the tournament. I can't even be mad at Trump. He played one hell of a game. I'm not going to lose sleep over this, though. Just being able to beat the brakes off that arrogant Sith Lord was victory enough for me. You definitely put on a show, Star-Lord. I don't think anyone will forget your time here. Anything you want to say to the people sitting at home? To anyone watching, don't ever give up on your dreams. If you're out there fighting for something you believe in, don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. Believe in yourself and never stop trying, even if you fail. That's what this game has taught me, and I hope it serves as a teacher for all of you as well. That's some real shit, man. A beautiful message, Star-Lord, and one that I hope everyone takes to heart. It was an incredible clash of the dragons, and while he put on a grand performance, it seems Blue Eyes has prevailed over Galaxy Eyes as Donald Trump will be advancing on to the next round and has secured a spot in our finals. Well, that's it for our show, folks. Stay tuned for our next episode that will feature Barack Obama taking on Ultron for a battle that will surely be out of this world. Tom Lively out.